Every spring, the MSU football team has their blue versus gold spring game. It's a chance for the fans to get a little bit more football and the coaches to evaluate their team. The Magnese football team had their annual Blue vs. Gold Spring football game on Wednesday, April 8, 2009. Captains for the blue team were running back Todrick Penland and linebacker Darren Miner, and for the gold team, quarterback Derek Ferru and linebacker Jeremy Pilot. First quarter action we go. The blue team is going to get on the board first with this 49-yard pass from quarterback Bo Lassane to wide receiver Bernardo Henry. That play is good. The kick would also be good, and the blue team will go up 7 to nothing. Gold team looking to answer back. Quarterback Darefru is going to drop back and hit running back Elric Jones out of the backfield for a screen pass. Jones is going to make a few people miss and get down the sideline for a nice little 20-yard gain. First and 10 for the gold team. So now that brings us to the second quarter. The gold team are driving. Derek Farouk, he's going to drop back, looks for the receiver, but the receiver mishandles the ball, and Brandon Robinson comes up with the interception for the blue team. What a great play. And that brings us to halftime with a score, blue seven, goal nothing. So third quarter we go, first down for the gold team. They give the ball to Eric Jones from one yard out. He punches it in. What a great day for Jones. Jones had one touchdown receiving. He also had a lot of yards receiving out of the backfield. So that takes us to the end of the third quarter with the score tied at seven. We go to the fourth quarter. First down for the goal team. And Derek Fruit is going to hit Cardi Clark in the end zone. Clark barely gets it inside the pylon, but he does get it. Clark had five catches for 77 yards and two touchdowns on the contest. And what a catch for the young man from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And that puts the goal team up 14-7, but Blue will respond. Quarterback Bola Sain is going to scramble one way, then pitch it on the end around to wide receiver Chad Davis out of Bishop Sullivan High School. And the senior is going to tie the game for the Blue team at 14 apiece. But the Blue team is going to end up getting the ball back. Pass to Todrick Penland, and look at Penland go, making people miss him right there. And another one, and Penland is off to the races. He's running down the sideline. Will they catch him? They ended up catching him, but a nice long game. Penland out of the backfield had five catches for 95 yards for the blue team. And, boy, they are very excited over there on the blue sideline. So inside the goal for the blue team. Who else do you give the ball to but your money man? Todrick Pinlett from two yards out. That will put the blue team up 21-14. to And boy, the highlights are starting to come in. Late in the fourth quarter, goal team down by seven. Derek Ferru is going to hit his money man, Carday Clark, for the second touchdown of the game. And that's going to put the goal team down 21-20. to The junior tight end who came in as a receiver impressed a lot of the coaches, but also is being looked upon by a lot of NFL scouts and teams. So with the goal team down by one, the coaches decide to go for two, and quarterback Derek Faroo is going to rush the ball in and put the goal team up by one with just about under a minute left of the game. What a nice play for that man right there. So with the 30 seconds left, blue team trying to make it interesting. They give the ball to Todrick Pinlin, and Pinlin seems to break away from the defense and scores the game-winning touchdown that puts the blue team up 28-22. to Pinland scored that one from 21 yards out, and how exciting is that young man to watch? Gold team will not give up. Last play, Farouk throws it up to Richard County. He gets nailed, but comes up with the catch. But time has run out, and that leaves us with the final, the blue team 28, the gold team 22.